Good morning everyone, myself Shutapa Maitra Chakraborty. I am a PS trainer and I am from UPLES. So today's topic is dependent uh, configurations uh, required. So, uh, uh, so as uh, we all know, like uh, we, um, for this, we need to have um, a few agenda for that. The, uh, the main thing we, I'll be explaining to you, like what are the things uh, it's required, like the other uh, configurations is required. So this topic I will explain. Then what is the purpose of this? Uh, we, uh, what is the implications of this that I explained to you? And then uh, the uh, configurations, how to configure these particular uh, uh, things that you need to uh, know uh, these things. And last but not the least, how it has been executed in your system uh, that I will explain explain to you so uh, when we did a yeah so when we did a, a project system uh, in the uh, organization tab you might have seen that there is a, a controlling area the, uh, there, there is a controlling area there is a company code there is a plan business area profit center uh, store then uh, yeah, that purchasing uh, and when you do this uh, purchasing organizations and storage locations these are our very important dependent uh, configurations is required for the project system uh, suppose uh, what now first is that uh, like uh, uh, like uh, if I uh, if I if you know like when you open CJ twenty and you can see the organizations that controlling area has come the company code has come but you need to know as a beginner you need to know what is controlling area what is company code then what is plant uh, profit center okay and uh, uh, and this uh, corresponding cost center so these all these you need to be this particular configurations this particular uh, what I can say this particular uh, um, master data you should know like where it has been configured how it has been configured so that any sort of error uh, it's coming you could have uh, identified that the issue is from there and all so first is that the uh, defined controlling area so if i know if you know what is controlling area control as i explained that the network is a control uh, umbrella of all activities similarly controlling area is as an umbrella of all cost assignment uh, you would have uh, known like the project uh, project then internal order then cost center profit center all these things are coming under the controlling area controlling area is the one where all company code are assigned so in a uh, big nutshell if i can say uh, that uh, uh, the, uh, for uh, external people like us, if I want to see any uh, financial report uh, for any particular company, I would go ahead with the company code data. Uh, I mean, company code, whatever the financial reporting. But any management level from their own company, they want to see the financial report, they will go through the controlling area, uh, I mean, controlling area data or controlling data, uh, controlling data and controlling area is the umbrella of all uh, cost assignment where your particular cost has been incurred like uh, the cost assignment are the part of like as i explained like uh, that uh, we have uh, cost center, profit center, uh, then uh, internal order, project, uh, project, WBS element, these are the cost assignment of the controlling area. Now we can say like what is company code? Now what is company code is that? is the controlling area now the company code now what is company code the company code is that uh, the company actually uh, which uh, for which you are referring okay uh, like um, yeah so uh, these are the referring uh, like the company you are working on or uh, the where your uh, the, i mean uh, what i can say the um, company is basically um, uh, main thing where your all expenses and uh, where for what you are uh, doing your work so that is the company and this company is assigned to the particular controlling area then only the it has to be synced okay then we have that um, uh, then we have that uh, business area. Uh, if I say like a particular business area, suppose we have uh, sales, uh, we have different kind of business area can be happen. Uh, suppose we have a uh, uh, sales business area, we have um, uh, uh, finance business area, we have MM business area, we have procurement, we have um, uh, supply chain. So different, different areas, it, it has been distributed or it has been. So in a reporting purpose, if anyone wants to know like how 
how many cost has been incurred in finance area or it can be divided in location wise as well so south east uh, south east north west that way you can divide your uh, zone and business area and that way also you can um, you can this, uh, want to know the actual cost or actual profit has been incurred on that particular business area then we have that plant what is plant plant is basically uh, like uh, as we know like uh, plant like uh, there are different different plant where is a distribution plant distributing plant manufacturing plant suppose uh, suppose uh, you have a company and you know like in that company there is a uh, suppose your company headquartered in Kolkata now you know like your distrib uh, your manufacturing plant is in South Kolkata so in Behala there is a South Kolkata there is a place called Behala where this is your uh, uh, manufacturing plant so this is manufacturing plant and the and there is another plant where from that distributions has been happened suppose you have a manufacturing of coca-cola so uh, coca-cola or thumbs up so there are britannia biscuit britannia they, they have a manufacturing plant on uh, behala taratala okay but the distribution uh, but uh, that has been manufactured over there and from that manufacturing plant it has to move to uh, another plant in the, or the kolkata head office from there the distribution happen so this is a distribution plant so the uh, these are the uh, plants means that there are different different offices we can consider as under plant so uh, that way and as we consider like uh, the construction of a uh, thing so uh, um, uh, like in uh, Kolkata there are PS group uh, or uh, Godrej Prokiti constructions is going on in uh, Behala Joka at the same time in Goria, at the same time in Shodhpur. So everywhere, so this uh, so Shodhpur, Goria, Behala, these all are considered as a plant. Okay. Now the purchase organizations. What is purchase organizations? Like um, uh, you need to have a particular orga purchase organization. So where that MM part, like the procurement will happen on that purchase organizations. Uh, so uh, these configurations is also required to know because uh, when you do this uh, procurement, it should be goes to a particular purchase organizations, uh, purchase organizations. Then we have the storage location. Storage location is also very important because as we know, like uh, storage locations from uh, there is a, uh, there should be a particular storage uh, uh storage where you can uh the, the uh, i mean the storage particular storage from where that uh, product has been uh, uh distributed uh, to the particular plant or somewhere uh to the retailer shop wherever so these are the uh, storage location that is important but uh, why what is the implications of this because as we all know like uh, we need to have Uh, so, uh, so uh, these are the basic configurations we should also know uh, because uh, these are the things which uh, as I explained to you as project system is internal link uh, with the other module like uh, like uh, as I said like if it is uh, uh, a project system is um, uh, um, I mean uh, it's interconnected with um, FI, MM, PA, uh, PP, um, uh, then uh, uh, CO, uh, then HCM. So basic configurations also are basic T code from other module also to be known from your side so that uh, if you are being stuck to somewhere, you can easily to be understand like uh, these are the things are required for your uh, project purpose and what are the configurations is also required for that. That also I will explain to you. So um, that, that's why I thought like I'll give an uh, um, uh, given a uh, total uh, like few basic configurations and few uh, basic other uh, other T code like uh, other um, T code for that so that it will be easier for you to when you do any sort of testing it will be easier for you to be understand like this okay so so that's why uh, So let me uh, first uh, share my screen and uh, that way we will uh, proceed one after one, okay?
hope you are all able to see my screen so first is that we should know what is company code and uh, first i'll check it out i'll show it to you why we require these things because yeah if i open this project so you would have seen like uh, this is the uh, controlling area company code all are coming from uh, your uh, opsa that is a project profile but uh, if if uh, like when you have started your project system this one and you saw like this things has not yet come like it is not coming it is not showing so in that case like you would have in a mind like where to check this one that uh, controlling area is not from f4 options it is not coming controlling area is not configured so you have you should know yeah uh, if this is not controlling area or company code has uh, assigned a company code has created but that is not assigned your correct con controlling or area so uh, you should have a check from your end and th then you can identify or you can uh, mention this one to the uh, to the respective team for that then they will be working on that then we have this as i mentioned that the business area plant uh, functional area profit center and project currency and also like i should also give you an idea of uh, controlling uh, cost center and activity type and work center i have already explained in confirmation uh, confirmation configuration you can check it out that conf uh, that videos where you i have uploaded um, like uh, the master data of con uh, work center Center and activity type. Now let's move one by one uh, configuration and also I will tell you a few T codes which you can say uh, check the uh, the details of other things. Okay. So go to the SPRO screen. So here you can see uh, the financial accounting new is there, okay? Okay, uh, for, sorry. First, we will create the uh, uh, company code. Here, enterprise organizations is there. Enterprise organization and assignment is there. And then I go to the financial accounting. Here you can see assign company code to company, then company code to credit control, business area, all this. Now, if I go to this definitions part and if I open this one, you can see define companies there, then uh, define credit control area, then edit, copy, delete, check company code, then define business area, functional area, segment, profit center, everything is there. Then I move into this controlling part, then you can see this one as well. That means Chain controlling area, create cost center, these things. And if I go to this sales and distribution part, you can have this um, uh, that I explained like uh, check and sales organization, distribution channel. Uh, these are the uh, basic master data. You should also be known on that. Then if I go ahead with this, uh, like uh, MM, as I mentioned, uh, maintenance storage locations, then uh, purchasing organizations. Uh, these are the uh, particular thing that you need to be created, this master data. And this master data needs to be assigned to your company code or controlling area. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, this master data has to be assigned to the controlling uh, company code and your company code has to be assigned to the particular controlling area. Then only when you do any sort of uh, your respective configurations then uh, other uh, we can say like um all the uh, all will be in a particular string or some uh, string okay so first we need to define the company because uh, yeah there should be a, as i explained like you may have a company what is company company is that particular thing suppose uh, bp uh, bp british petroleum this is a company and this that uh, company's headquarters is in uk or us okay now uh, you have separate entity now company code is that like you have 
multiple companies against that BP, like BP America is there, BP India is there, BP uh, Germany is there, BP uh, Poland is there. So there are different, it's not plant. I'm not talking to understand what is company code and what is plant. Plant is there in that uh, BP India, you have different, different plant. You have that uh, offices that we consider as a plant. But uh, like you have a company called BP, which hit quarters in, in uh, US and you have separate uh, company codes like uh, BP, Amer BP UK, BP Germany, BP uh, India that way uh, because they are uh, financials uh, because uh, balance sheet items are different like uh, uh, they have a different financial uh, document, financial statement are different okay so and but at the as I can say, we have a same chart of account we can use or we can use group chart of account. These All these things are part of the FIT, which I'm not going uh, too much on that. But the thing is that you should know what is company and what is company code, the difference. So once this company has been formed, after the company, you should create the company code. Suppose we have the company. So here, uh, if I can see, uh, like... Uh, yeah. So, if I am open this one particular company or uh, you can see what are the things are there, the company and the company name, their particular address and main thing is that uh, uh, the, um, what I can say, the currency. Currency is very important for that. Then we move into this edit, copy, delete, check company code. Okay. Now we need to create the uh, uh, the company code. So I click this edit company code. And if I open this one is a new entry, you could have seen you can mention the particular uh, like the number of this unique number, then the company name, then city, then C currency. This is important main thing currency is very important because uh, you should have a proper currency for your particular company. Now, after that, you are uh, dealing with the currency with uh, your uh, supplying or all these things happen with the other currency. That is different. But you should have a unique currency for your own. Uh, so, uh, all the transactions, you can be posted in other currency. But this currency value will be updated for your financial transactions. So, uh, you should uh, mention and last but not the least is the language. So, that whenever, whatever post you are doing um, so based on your language only it will be updated correctly so if I go and move our company code which uh, from where we have created uh, all the projects and all 9999 that we remember just check whether this company is there or not yeah so 9999 is a AI AICP, the company has been formed and you can see the city is Kolkata, country is India, currency is INR and the language is uh, English that is mentioned. So this is same way you can create another company code and uh, another company code. Uh, so uh, so the uh, company will be one but the company, multiple company codes can be created. So uh, OPSA, organization staff, uh, you you can uh, keep blank you can keep blank uh, for uh, company code because same project profile can be used for every um every company code that's why we can keep it as a blank but we uh, we can uh, what i can say but controlling area is important because all the company codes are assigned to the particular controlling area so controlling area has to be maintained but the company code you can skip it okay So uh, this is the company code we have created. Now the defined business area. So you can see this is one business area is there, uh, Z001 and Kolkata, it is there. I will explain after that uh, the, uh, the second part that is... Uh, 
uh, assignment part but uh, first we need to know how to create that fun uh, where from we create the particular uh, things master data okay then we have like a uh, functional area like what are the functional thing are there like uh, as I explained like um, uh, you can have like here you can see that um, we have that uh, sales revenue sales deduction production so sales and distribution marketing so these are the functional areas like which are the function like uh, finance then uh, sales and distributions then um finance sales and distribution marketing uh, then uh, productions then material so every functional area wise a functional area wise you can make it uh, different different entries because these are all important for your particular uh, reporting purpose like in finance area how many cost has been incurred that you want to check it or uh, you can check uh, you can make your functional area south south east north west that way also you can make it so as per the client's requirement what they how they uh, want to make their uh, this one the functional area you can make it then profit center now what is profit center you need to know like so uh, then we create the profit center and change the profit center whatever the profit center is basically uh, like uh, uh, the cost center is uh, where from where the cost has been incurred suppose you have a uh, finance cost center okay from where you are incurring all your costs now uh, now if you um, like every cost center is assigned to a particular profit center so you know like uh, the uh, you have an employee of uh, 50 employees are there so 50 employees they are uh, they are uh, their salary has been credited to their bank okay but when you have hired this particular employee all the employee you have uh, you have a requirement from your clients that uh, that many person are will be working with that particular experience like you have a experience you want the client one that uh, they need to, they have a budget for uh, uh, the, like uh, like the 50,000 per month uh, one employee and uh, the employee should have one to two years experience and 50,000 per month they will be uh, giving for this particular employee okay now you are been hired and you are are, um, uh, what I can say, you have given the uh, employee salary of rupees 40,000. So, 10,000 is a profit from your client you are getting. So, that uh, what that for 40,000 you are uh, it's been adjusted, it's been credited from your cost center. And whereas, when this uh, uh, you are uh, charging uh, to the client for this uh, for that particular employee's uh, salary, that will come to you, and that is um like uh, that amount will come to 50,000 will be in your profit center. So that is the main thing. That is the main thing of the profit center. Uh, this is the profit center. So that's why I would say every profit center has, every profit center has a uh, a cost center or a cost center has a particular profit center. Now, if I see what are the profit centers, so this profit center has been created and you can see the controlling area is there. Then we have this creations validity date and uh, these are the like user responsible, person responsible group is there. Then you have this indicator. So you can make this one is a dummy profit center where all your profits, uh, miscellaneous profit can be incurred. So and all also, you can lock this one, uh, this uh, profit center. Then we have this company code, particularly which company codes are assigned with this profit center that you need to mention in that uh, creations of profit center. Then we have that particular address, communications and history. History is that who is created that profit center and all. So uh, this is the uh, these are the master data uh, which is required uh, when you create an. Uh, this is a particular KE fifty one is uh, sorry K. So uh, KE51 is the T code from where you can create your profit center at change uh, profit center T code is um, KE52 and uh, KE53 is the display of the profit center. So this is all about the uh, profit center. Now we moving, uh, now we have to move it to the um, uh, controlling part. Okay. 
so uh, this is the definitions and uh, these uh, financial accounting these are the things you need to be taking care now we have to take the controlling so what is this uh, maintain controlling area create cost center okay uh, now maintain controlling area copy delete check controlling area maintain controlling area and delivery date okay so i open that man maintain controlling area okay and our control uh, if i open uh, the new entries you can have seen like uh, these are the controlling area name person responsible then you have this uh, company code to controlling area there are few controlling area same as company code or cross company code costing a uh, cost accounting so uh, that uh, decision you have to take it then uh, currency type which type of currency generally we use uh, m that currency this one that our company code currency or uh, controlling area group currency which one you are going to uh, that uh, then uh, currency which type of then chart of account fiscal year variance So this is the chart of account that we can use group chart of account or the special chart of account we can use. Then fiscal year variant. Now fiscal year variant is that uh, every company should uh, maintain their fiscal year as per their uh, requirement. Uh, somebody has used calendar year like uh, January to December. Someone used Feb, uh, April to um, uh, March. So that way it has been uh, whatever the mention. So that way we have to do this one. And uh, then we have the cost center hierarchy and uh, this is the profit center hierarchy so these are the uh, basic things you have to uh, maintain it once you create the uh, controlling areas now our controlling area 9999 is already been created let's see and you can see that the name and the controlling area same as company code has been mentioned then currency type company code currency will be used the currency is currently is INR use and then uh, chart of account is um, uh, that AICP is, is been used and fiscal year variant is V3 that is April to March special four periods has been used so these are the uh, particular things uh, for um, uh, for uh, basic uh, I mean uh, 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 what I can say uh, uh, that uh, 9999 has been followed okay so now uh, this is done and then we create that cost center as I mentioned uh, under uh, this create cost center or change I check it out with the change because we have already created uh, some cost center we can check it out what are the cost center is there So if I uh, check this one cost center, then we have this basic data where the cost center is controlling area, the valid form, uh, then name, description, user responsible or person responsible, then cost center category, uh, like which category it has been followed. Now see, as I explained, every cost center assigned with a particular profit center, like uh, where that uh, cost center profit revenue will be um, uh, got. So that profit center, you need to mention the profit center center as well then we have this INR like the currency that we need to be mentioned then uh, control uh, if I go ahead the control here you can lock different different areas that uh, it is that options is there then we have the template uh, then uh, address as I mentioned that the cost center address communications and last but not the least is history that is um, like who has created that cost center these details uh, you need to be mentioned so all about the cost center this one and then I uh, go ahead this material management part maintain storage locations so, uh, as I mentioned, like we have that, uh, this particular, um, 
plant we already know that we are using so in that particular plant we have that storage locations one of the storage locations uh, so uh, we can see there are two storage locations is there so you can see these are the these are the storage locations and if i uh, put uh, over there you can see that a particular address should be mentioned here not is mentioned but yeah it should be mentioned the particular uh, storage uh, storage uh, address of a storage locations okay now this is done and then last but not the least is that uh, maintain uh, purchase organizations uh, like uh, purchasing organizations is there so uh, whenever yeah whenever you create a project uh, i let me open one uh, project If I open any project and if I assigned, So, no, not here. Okay, activity. Yeah. So, in that uh, activity, uh, if I show it to you, where these purchase organizations is important or where we can keep our purchase organization. So, if I put the material over here, material component, And uh, yeah, so here, this one, and if I check, uh, yeah, so if I use this one, So, if I go ahead with uh, here, okay, since uh, this one is coming as blank, that's why this is not created, but here you can see procurement, yeah, uh, you would have seen, uh, okay, let me check it with another Let me save and see. Yes, it can, it can be possible. Let me see. If I save it. Yeah, it is not created. 
so but as i can tell you like here you have that options uh, where you can see like uh, since the material is not correct that's why uh, that uh, procurement is not done so here you can see particularly we can i can tell you that uh, it will be uh, mentioned like uh, the particular uh, what i can say the particular thing like uh, uh, what i can say um, that uh, uh, purchasing organizations detail you need to be uh, fill up over there otherwise it is not ask you for uh, yeah it is uh, okay yeah so it will not okay so it will not uh, get you uh, get it through on that so these are the uh, yes so here you can see pur1 is the uh, purchase organization for the kolkata plant so this is the kolkata plant which is mentioned okay so uh, these are the basic uh, configurations is required for the other uh, other uh, module you need to know now you need to have that assignment because you have created master data but that has to be assigned to the particular company code and the company code has to assign to the controlling area then only all things should be in a string like uh, you can uh, easily understand like uh, then only okay and if you are getting any sort of issues on that then you can assign uh I mean, uh, that then you have an option, so, uh, like uh, you can check it over here, like where it has been assigned and where and all. Okay. Now, if I open it, uh, 9999, and you can see that uh, particular, it is assigned with this company, AICCP. So, this is assigned with this particular company. Okay. Then credit control area, then business area to business area, then financial management and assigned profit center. If I go ahead with this profit center. Hmm. you can see these number of profit center has created against that company code 9999 okay then we have to go ahead with this controlling and assign company code to the controlling area so our controlling area is 9999 we need to see against uh, again i tell you like in this uh, particular controlling area there might be some other controlling area is also to be assigned so here that if you can open it and you can see aicp aicp the company code uh, 9999 is already assigned so this controlling area is also assigned to the particular uh, uh, particular uh, what i can say uh, particular um, uh, controlling uh, con company code has been assigned to the particular controlling area okay and then i uh, yeah um yes then we have that assigned uh, warehouse to the plant and all. So uh, these are the warehouse, these are the plant uh, that has to be assigned with the warehouse or there is an options. Yes. So here in the logistics, you can create, here is that logistic general, you have to create that uh, define, copy, delete, check, plant. So if I have to go ahead with this define plant options. And as I know, uh, like our uh, plant is PL01. So yeah, here you can see uh, like PL01, if I open that name, that then you need to have a language key, how it's post, all the detail you have to mention over here once you have created for a new entries, okay? And that plant you need to be assigned to a company code. Otherwise, uh, like it will not be possible, like it will not uh, maintain correctly. So here you have that assignment. Once you have done with this, then in that uh, uh, assignment, come to the assignment and here you have that assigned plan to company code. Here we need to check whether in the plant is uh, PL01. 
yes you can see company code this one the plant are assigned so how many plant you have that you have to assign in that particular company code so these are the basic uh, what i can say these are the basic configurations you should also know from your path so that uh, whenever you are in uh, like uh, you have uh, facing any sort of issues uh, like uh, the plant is not created or something uh, like you can see the company code is not assigned to the uh, company controlling area profit center is not part of uh, like the profit center you have added that you have you can see uh, like uh, it is not coming um, uh, like uh, the profit center is not uh, created in the uh, controlling area 9999. That time you need to create that profit center because you are doing some sort of testing on that. So I will explain like few are the T code you can, uh, you should also know like as a master data, uh, once you create any sort of, uh, what I can say, any sort of um, uh, 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 testing or something, then it is re really required to know like a few of the things so that it will be easier. I'll explain one after one so that it will be easier for you. So when you create a uh, Yeah, first I'll go ahead with uh, general ledger. So uh, whenever you find that the ledger, like uh, while posting any ledger is required, okay? So ledger means like uh, any uh, actual cost you are going to be post. So actual cost or any sort of posting when you are doing uh, that, uh, that time you need to create a GL account. So here is that GL account, this one. And FA00 is the GL account where you can create the GL account for a particular purpose like here I can see the GL account is already created So if you see like a GL account you have created, but it has come that GL is not uh, been created or it is been blocked or something has been mentioned so that from your end, you can check it. If I um, just click this one, you can see uh, the GL account is there. And uh, this is a balance sheet account. These details are there in that GL account. So these are the things uh, and every GL primary GL account you need to be create one cost element. So from here also, since this uh, PNL account, every PNL account needs to have a particular uh, cost account, uh, cost element. So, uh, so that also you need to be checked. That also I'll check it. I'll show it to you how you can check this one. So this is a GL account creation master data that you can create it uh, from uh, from here as I can say and other things I'm not going but uh, A01 that I explained like when you uh, do a um, uh, investment management or the AUC to final asset that time you for a testing you need to be uh, create a final asset so what is that final asset this one if I go ahead here is that fixed asset uh, is there in accounting under accounting and uh, no, uh, not posting. Uh, so asset, uh, yes, so, see, create. So A01 is that create asset options are there and AW01N where you can see the asset value, like uh, like the value, how many how much value has been transferred and all that you can check it out in asset value. Uh, so uh, these are the things you can check it out from fixed asset areas as I, uh, as I have mentioned to you. Then you have the controlling. In controlling, you have that cost element. As I explained, when you do the cost planning, you have to do the cost planning against uh, against the particular cost center along with uh, a particular project along with the cost uh, cost element. So, uh, cost and element T um, uh, code is this. K01, you can create the primary cost element. Now, cost element, same way, cost element is one. Uh, the, you have the GL and the GL you will be using from the financial accounting. That is the, for the external purpose. And when the management wants to see uh, how much is this, uh, so every GL, primary GL, uh, primary profit and loss GL has to be uh, assigned, uh, has to be same as a cost element. So, here you can have a cost element detail. So,
uh, it's affiliated as there. So I just yeah, display options. So if I can go ahead that uh, printing and stationary cost element, uh, these are the cost element category is uh, one. Uh, so according to you need to create uh, the cost element is there. So uh, that way you can create the cost element. As I have already explained how to create. This is a primary cost element. This is a secondary cost element. Now the dif difference is uh, primary and secondary is that PNL account, but secondary is the controlling area. There are some cost center are there there are some gl you need to prepare for the controlling area suppose uh, it is more on that controlling part i am not going through too many of that but the secondary cost element is that particularly made for the controlling purpose so these uh, cost elements uh, so that is considered as a cost uh, controlling now uh, if i um, if you are, uh, then you have that cost center accounting, uh, uh, then you have that profit center accounting. These are the, uh, from here you can create cost center is KE01 is the cost center. Uh, so if I go ahead is the cost center accounting. individual cost center so this is the uh, k01 from here uh, sorry sorry this is a cost element i have just shown to you cost center yes yeah cost K01, K02, and there is a group also. Under this group, cost center can be created. So, um, so uh, these are the cost center, and then I move into this um, uh, profit center part. From here also, you can create the profit center. Uh, so these are the uh, controlling and FICO perspective. The T code is required. Now I uh, move to the uh, like uh, accounting part and we see like the logistics and this way uh, other uh, part as well. Other module, I would say. So, uh, material management, and if I go ahead with this purchase, uh, purchasing. Uh, then uh, the uh, from um, PS we can create that purchase requisitions. That purchase requisition you can check it in that uh, ME fifty three N in that and uh, accordingly after that if you want to check any PO or PO against that PR then ME twenty two N is that particular T code where you can check that purchase uh, order accordingly and that way also like uh, this is very important like uh, when you do this one. Uh, then uh, from uh, sales and distributions, as I said, the master data from uh, not here, um, sales. Yeah, uh, sales order. If you, uh, if anybody has created any order, you can check on BA03, and also billing part you can check uh, because these are all important because you uh, billing has been done with uh, like uh, the milestone billing has done, so you want to check that billing document. So these are the billing document. BF05 is that. BA0, BF01 is that. Uh, you can create the billing. It is not required. BF03 from our 
for reference we can check the billing document uh, so this is uh, important from sales and distribution perspective and uh, then i move into this hr uh, these things uh, human resource so uh, the t code uh, we did that uh, pa uh, t, uh, i mean cat 2 we are doing for the time sheet for cat 2 if you want to check uh, like uh, these things uh, from here uh, like the personal management as i can say uh, uh, what uh, not here employee details and all administrations uh, like you have this call here hr master data like if you want to check like uh, about that particular employee then you check that uh, so uh, pa 30 you can or pa 20 uh, you have that uh, pa uh, uh, is that the uh, personal data or the HR master data from where you can check the particular employee details on that. So, uh, these are uh, from the detail you can get it. So, these are the uh, T code you can uh, check uh, from your end so that whenever you are in stuck or something, you can check it from here. So, this is all about the dependent configurations and dependent T code uh, which is required while doing the project system. So, this is all about now if you have any questions please uh, uh, send me in the uh, note or something i'll get back to you for that time good night